Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be looking at the engine limiting function in our ESP software. Once you've installed your Elite Series ECU into your car, whether it be by a patch harness or a wire and installation, it's really important that we have a look at our engine limiting functions and our engine limiting method when we're trying to get the car started and running. The first thing that we need to do is open our ESP software, go online, and then we need to customize one of our display pages. So to do that, we're just gonna right click up the top here and go create new page. We'll call it engine limiting function. Now a blank page is gonna appear where customize your tuning pages is written up the top. If we just right click anywhere in the background here and we'll pull up a list display and the black section appears here, we'll right click inside here and go select channels. Then we're gonna search for engine limit. The one that we're after is engine limiting function and engine limiting method. Once we've got both of those up, while the, engine's, while the engine's sitting here and we're not cranking it, we should have none. So the engine lim limiting function is none and the engine limiting method is none. What we've got beside us here is our engine simulator hooked up to our Elite Series ECU. So with this simulator, I can choose my engine RPM, my throttle position, my manifold pressure, air temperature, coolant temperature. So I can simulate an engine without actually having an engine here. So it's perfect to be able to display exactly what we're looking at. Now that we've got our engine limiting function set up in our ESP software, we can see what the ECU is thinking. And by that, I mean we can see what the ECU is looking at in its software setup. We can see its input and outputs and make sure that the ECU wants to run the engine. If the ECU wants to run the engine, the engine limiting function will be set to none. That means that the ECU wants to fire the fuel and the ignition. If the engine limiting function says something like decel cut, throttle position, uh, ignition switch, overboost, engine protection, deceleration cut, rev limiter, all of these are reasons why the ECU would not want the engine to run. So let's take a look at a simple one like ignition switch. So if you've got an ignition switch turned on into your ECU, that means that we're going to be expecting 12 volts to be coming from your keys into the ECU. That then enables the ECU, it knows that your keys are on, it wants the engine to run. If it doesn't get that signal, the ECU is going to display ignition switch in the engine limiting function. It's not going to fire the fuel, it's not going to fire the ignition. You can crank for as long as you want, the engine simply won't run. So looking at this engine limiting function is the most important thing to be looking at while you're trying to get your engine up and running. So in summary, if you're trying to get your engine up and running using your Elite Series ECU, first, go online using the ESP software. Second, open up a display page and have a look at the engine limiting function. Third, crank the engine and look at what the engine limiting function displays. Fourth, if it says nothing, fantastic. If the engine limiting function is telling you a particular sensor to have a look at, go and check that out in your software. If you like what you saw in this tech tip and you don't want to miss out on any new ones, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. As always, thanks very much for watching. My name's Scott and I'll see you next time.